You called him. You called Randall. I always turn my phone off before I put it in your mailbox. Two nights ago, it was left on. Battery drained. And I was so damn sure that I turned it off, you know? Because I always do. It's a habit, right? Yeah. So it was nagging me. It was nagging me! So I called the phone company. Turns out there was a deleted call at 2 a.m. when I was asleep right there. And you know whose number? Randall's. The only person who could have made that call and deleted it is you, Sully. Boy, that phone, huh? That phone must have felt like a, a blowtorch in your ear. All that electricity, all those radio waves right up against the side of your head. My God! What was so important that you had to call Randall before our meeting? The only thing I can think, the only thing that makes sense is you told him not to hire me. It was always you, right? Right back to when I won the scare games and tried to join the company. You didn't want me. Speak up. Tell me why. It's the least you can do for me now. I'm your best friend. We're supposed to look out for each other. Why were you working against me, Sully? You're not a real scarer. I'm what? You're not a real scarer, Mike. University of the Himalayas, for Christ's sake. An online course? What a joke. I worked my ass off to get where I am. And you take these shortcuts and you suddenly think you're my peer? You get to do what I do because you're funny and you can make people laugh. <laughs> I committed my life to this. You don't slide into it like a cheap pair of slippers and then reap all the rewards. I thought you were proud of me. I was. When you straightened out and got a job in the mailroom, I was very proud. So that's it then, right? Keep old Mikey down in the mailroom because he's not good enough to be a scarer! I know you. I know what you were, what you are. People don't change. You're green with it. And green with it I can handle just fine, but green with it, at a scare degree, is like a chip with a machine gun. Scaring is sacred. If you abuse that power, people get hurt. This is not a game. And you have to know that on some level. I know you know I'm right. You know I'm right. I... Uh, I got you a 20-pound bag of ice... And some bacon, and some eggs, and a couple of those steaks you like. Some fuel canisters, enough for three or four days. After that, you're on your own. I am done.